All right, so this time we're going to be solving by completing the square. So we already know how to complete the square, but what if we had something like 0 equals this quadratic and we wanted to solve it? Now we could use the quadratic formula, or we could try to factorize it. This isn't going to factorize neatly, so factorizing is not going to work. But we can also solve it by completing the square. So let's try completing the square. So step one when you complete the square is to find your magic number. That's half of the b value squared. So I'll do a little magic number calculation up here. So that's going to be uh, 5 over 2 squared. Uh, now that's going to be um, the same as 5 squared over 2 squared. So that's going to be the same as 25 over 4. Okay, so now that I've got my magic number, I can add it and subtract it from here. So 0 equals x squared plus 5x, it's a different color pen, plus 25 over 4 minus 25 over 4 plus, oops, different color pen, plus 7. Alright, so I haven't changed anything because I'm adding and subtracting, but now what I can do is group these and group these. Now, this is going to factorize really neatly because now that I've completed the square, it's going to be a perfect square. X plus, uh, and it's going to be that number over there. X plus 5 over 2 squared. And then I probably need a calculator. Oh, I could work it out. Uh, yeah, let's work it out. So negative 25 over 4, just a little thing in the margins over here. Uh, plus, um, that's 4 over 28. So that's going to be um, negative 25 over 4 plus 28 over 4. That's going to be 3 over 4. All right. So now I know that 0 equals x plus 5 over 2 squared plus 3 over 4. So now that I have it as I've completed the square, that's, that's the first part of it. Now we just need to solve it. So now we need to rearrange this to make x the subject. So first step would be uh, to take 3 over 4 and move it to the other side or subtract 3 over 4 from both sides. So that means that that's negative 3 over 4 x plus 5 over 2 squared. Now, we need to take the square root of this. Now, I've caused myself an issue here, but don't panic. Now, if we take the square root of that, it's going to look like this. And we're not going to have a square root there. Now, it's not just the square root, but it's the plus or minus square root, so plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 4 equals x plus 5 over 2. And then finally, x, if we move the plus 5 over 2 to the other side, it becomes negative 5 over 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 4. All right, now I said I caused myself a bit of an issue. Now, I did cause myself an issue. When I wrote this question, I didn't realize the answer is going to have a negative under the square root sign. Now, if I type this into my calculator, it's going to say error. So I can just stop here. But if, if that was positive, I would go one more step. I'd type negative 5 over 2 plus the square root of, negative, of 3 over 4 into my calculator. And then I'd type in negative 5 over 2 minus the square root. I'm going to get... When I type in the plus and the minus, I'm going to get two answers. But you guys are used to that. You've gotten two answers in the past before, so that's not going to freak you out. When you do math C, if you do math C, you can start to deal with these negative numbers under square root signs, but at the moment, we don't have the tools required. Um, all right, that's solving by completing the square.